What's up everyone, Aaron Schatz here, Editor-in-Chief of ASC Publishing, and today we're going to have another video review for you. This time we're going over the Action Tech Wi-Fi Dead Spot Eliminator. It's a power line networking kit used to bridge network access across your house using just electrical circuits. This is review ID 47066. You can check out this and all our other reviews by going to www.aselabs.com. And you're watching this on YouTube right now, so you might as well hit that subscribe button. You'll be informed of all our video reviews as we post them. It's probably... I'm going to get the corner eventually. It's probably one of these corners, but let's get right into this review. If you haven't seen the unboxing, the link is probably somewhere right here. So you can check out the unboxing. But basically, you get the two things in the kit, which is basically the actual Wi-Fi extender part and the power line adapter. They're both actually power line adapters. You also get one network cable with it. That's basically what's in the kit, so check out the unboxing if you haven't seen it before. The Wi-Fi Dead Spot Eliminator kit is actually a mixture of two products. This is the PWR500 or Power 500. Basically, it's a home plug network adapter, so you plug this into any outlet, and here you would plug this in to your router. So you plug this end into your router, this into an outlet, and now your whole house has home plug networking capabilities. Home plug is basically networking over electricity or electric circuits in your house. That then connects to this big giant brick right here which will also give you two Ethernet ports and a wireless network a wireless access point as well. So that's how this kit actually works. Let's take a look at the PWR500 or the Power 500. This is the Power 500 which like I explained before is just a home plug bridge to Ethernet the strange part is that this is a 500 megabit home plug connector, but the Ethernet port is only 10100. So you're kind of limited by the Ethernet port on that one. <laughs> you can see three indicator lights right here, and on the bottom here you have the security button so you can actually sync to your home network that's already running home plug. But you don't have to use that because these come synced right out of the box and it's basically just plug and play good to go. Moving on to the WPB3000, which is the model name of the Wi-Fi extender portion of the kit. This is a giant brick. You can see that it's just, just humongous. Basically, this is power and a Wi-Fi access point and a switch all rolled into one, so that's probably why it's a little big. You can see that it's got vent ports because it does get a little warm, not that hot, but just get a little warm. Indicator lights on the front for power, Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2, wireless, and if it's sending and receiving traffic. It also has the home plug security sync button here, and it has a WPS button if you want to use that for you know engaging your wireless network. And oh yeah, two Ethernet ports on the bottom. The nice part about Action Tech is they actually give you a label to actually put on the bottom or anywhere you want and it's also covered on the actual label of the device itself. It, it has the wireless network name and the default password, so you don't actually have to set this up in any manual way if you don't want to. You can just plug this in, use the, the default uh, wireless name and password, and you're good to go. Once you plug this into your router and then into the outlet, and you plug this in into another outlet, that's it. That's the entire setup right there. But if you're watching this, you're probably a power user like me and you want to actually set up some advanced things like changing the network name, changing the network password and such like that. So let's log on to the computer, I'll plug these bad boys in and we'll see how to actually set this thing up. So it's been a while since I had a little cameo from my dog Coco <laughs> and here she is. Look at the camera. Now you're in a view. Nice job Coco. Alright. <sighs> Moving on. Here is the login screen for the Action Tech Wi-Fi Dead Spot Eliminator. The password is admin, just like the username. This is the basic setup screen. You can see that we have a wireless basic setup, which you can go through. I already set mine up partially. Obviously, my uh, network key is not going to be testing this, but for now it is. So this brings you into this screen which basically says, okay, do you want to enable the wireless interface, yes or no? Give you the access point name that you want to use, you can turn it invisible or not, and this is the country, so you know how certain countries have different um, uh, frequency ranges, so that's what this is used for. You could leave it on USA, because that's probably where you're using it. 
the network mode itself. You can use BGN or N only or whatever you want the bandwidth. You can use higher bandwidth or not. And auto scan, which is probably the best thing to use in case you have a lot of wireless networks around you. So this chooses the best one to use. And obviously you have the security. You should use the highest security. Uh, probably WPA2 PSK. But I'm using WPA and WPA2. Doesn't matter. Let's go into the LAN setup. And this page really does nothing if it's attached to a DHCP server. So if you have this connected to a router, for instance, so if you're actually using this as an actual bridge, this will actually assign its own IP address. So you don't have to worry about this at all. In fact, the entire thing is plug and play. So this IP address is kind of meaningless here. Let's go into advanced. Here is where you can control a lot of options and it's really interesting I don't recommend touching any of these just let it do its thing but here's the interesting part so you could see that in the wireless I have this my regular wireless network that I set up but I can actually add guest access points and then isolate users for it and that's really cool because now I don't have to worry about giving them my password to my primary wireless network they just get this one and you get three of them I don't know why you need three of them, but you get three of them. You could see this is the power line networking thing. You could see that my transfer rates are kind of crap because this is actually on multiple different circuits. So, if I hit scan, you'll see 13 and 43. Not not that good, but good enough for what we're actually trying to do. If you had like a video game console in here, works perfectly fine. Um, obviously you're not going to change the network password if this is the kit that you're using. If you have like a regular home plug network already and you have a password on it, that's what you would use for this. Maintenance, obviously you can change your password and you can do backup and restore the settings of this. You can do a firmware upgrade if they have it and all this stuff if you want if you backed up your settings you can you know do all that stuff status of the unit you could see the firmware version and the hardware version you could see the IP address subnet mask you could see the wireless name this is basically just an overview of what's going on you could also see that I have a a network device hooked into it and I was switching the port so that's why you see like all this stuff but basically it'll show you like if something's connected how many packets received how many packets sent that kind of stuff and otherwise that's basically it that's the setup of this remember this is a a bridge so you basically plug this in and you're good to go and that's basically it honestly the setup is really simple if, if you don't want to change anything but you can see the amount of options that action tech actually packages along you could change all these advanced features that i don't even i don't suggest touching at all because you'll probably break something but they're there if you want them. One thing about these both devices that I've mentioned already, but even though they're 500 megabit home plug networking for the electric network part, these ethernet ports, they're only 10 100. It makes no sense to me why this is done that way. When you can get gigabit, I don't even, I don't even know if it saves money. I don't know why they did it that way, but Gigabit would make sense on these because at least you would start to saturate the bandwidth, but right now 10 100, you're not saturating any bandwidth. Now in my house, I'm not even getting near that speeds anyway because this is on two different electrical circuits and this is pretty much you know different parts of the house and I'm I'm actually surprised it even works entirely. But you know 25 megabits to 75 megabits is what I've seen and that's pretty good. You don't need anything more if you're going to plug this into a gaming console or even a computer. It's like 25 megabit internet connection is perfectly fine for most people anyway. So I don't think you have a problem. If you're transferring files to and from like all the time and, and they're giant big files, yeah, you might want to actually consider investing in a gigabit you know, Ethernet run. But otherwise, this kit works great for the intended purpose. One interesting thing that we actually found out, this is the second kit that we actually have. Basically, the first one that we got, everything worked fine up until a few hours of use. Then all of a sudden, this overheated. It just got really, really hot and basically just turned off, just started to burn up. So we told Ashen Tech, Ashen Tech sent us a replacement and we sent that one back. 
So it, it was probably just a faulty unit. It happens. It was replaced. The new one works fine. So, you know, if you do get a faulty unit, just bring it back to where you got it from or call Action Tech. I'm sure they'll be happy to assist you in getting a replacement. The Action Tech Wi-Fi Dead Spot Eliminator Kit retails for about $90 right now. And for that price, it's a really good buy if you need it. My house has wired networking all over the place because the runs are easy for me to do. But you know what, if you have a large house and you have your networking in one area of the house and the other house, the other part of the house has no wireless support, it just, you know, the signal just loses everything. This is a great way to actually bridge that gap and to get actual wired connection out of it. So if you have a video game console in another part of your house, you can actually have a stable wired connection. And that's really awesome. ASC Publishing would like to thank Action Tech for sending this product for review. You can check out links on ASC Labs to actually purchase this product from various merchants. For ASC Labs and ASC Publishing, I'm Aaron Schatz, and thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you're watching right now, I hope, or this video is somehow being copyright infringed upon or something, or maybe pirated. I, I'm not sure the actual correct term is. I guess we can call it pirated. Anyway, there's a subscribe button here or here. I'm not sure which it is, but you'll hit it. You'll be informed of our video reviews, and go to www.ASDLabs.com. Feel free to look at our other pieces of content. We have a text review in addition to these video reviews, so if you actually want to see pictures and you actually want to read some text, we have that available for you as well. Also, you're on our YouTube channel right now. Hit that comment button, post some comments, post some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.